35,000 people could be affected by possible cuts to a program that helps people make it day to day. That vote could change everything from for those who with disabilities on the I budget waiver. During the 2020 session, Florida lawmakers will vote on whether to make cuts to the program. WTXL ABC 27's Christian Thomas explains how that would impact those on the program. There have been days where I've been stuck in bed that I haven't been able to do anything because of my services not being available. Days like that are why Amanda Baker is fighting to keep the Florida legislature from cutting funding for Medicaid waiver I budget. Baker, who's been on the waiver since she was three years old, says cuts could jeopardize the money she needs to ensure she gets proper care, making daily tasks nearly impossible. I depend on that person to come in, to help me take a shower, to get me dressed, to help me clean my apartment, to help me fix food. So all of that would be in jeopardy. And she's not alone. 35,000 Floridians use the waiver. This prompted the Florida Developmental Disabilities Council to start a campaign to save the I budget. Valerie Breen says this cut would take away the independence of those who live on their own. By cutting those back, many people uh, will be forced to have to consider an institutional type setting in order to get the care that they need. I budget is supported by both federal and state governments. The Agency for Persons with Disabilities submitted a redesigned report with cost containment options that could bring down costs for the legislature. Now it's up to the state to decide if they will accept it or not. What the legislature can do is say it's a very nice report, but we are not going to fund the deficit in the program. You're going to have to go back and serve people without us giving you any more money. Leaving people like Baker at an extreme loss. All she can do now is hope for the best. I hope that they see that the, the spending that they are doing is not nearly enough because I believe that the I budget can work. It just needs proper funding. In Tallahassee, Christian Thomas, WTXL, ABC 27. Florida is ranked 49th in the nation for Medicaid spending for those with developmental disabilities.